Hey guys, welcome to Rock Painting 101. We are going to do a super simple fish for you guys today. This is just the basic way to lay out your fish on your rock, and you can really customize this and develop this into lots of different color combinations and patterns if you like. So the first thing you're gonna do is create your fish body on your rock. Now, depending on the shape of your rock, you can do this body short or wide, and you can really make your fish look fun and different based on this first shape we're gonna create. So we're gonna do almost like an eye shape, like this, onto our rock. Now, if you've got a shorter rock, you can do your eye more up and down, but basically you're connecting an arch with a dip, so front to back. Now you're going to do a C shape on the back of your fish, like that. And then we're going to add a couple beginning pieces to fins. Now, there's lots of different ways you can do fins with fish. Uh, this is another thing you can customize quite a bit. And then we're gonna turn this into almost like a crescent moon, just like that. Now we're gonna attach our top to bottom with just a little bit of body, like that. I'm not gonna worry too much about my outline at the moment because we are going to fill in our fish. And I'm not gonna do any face. This is gonna be more of a cartoon style fish, so it will have a face when we're done. I'm not gonna add any of that on yet because we're gonna go ahead and do some filling in of our fish. Uh, so I'm gonna do three fish in all that I'll show all three at the end. I'm using a few different color combinations here, but I've just got pink, yellow, and blue here that I'm gonna be working with. And I am gonna go ahead and do a blue and pink fish because it just sounds pretty, it'll be fun, and um, you can see all the other color combinations at the end. So uh, pick whichever color you want to be the underside of your fish, and you can just start filling in the underbelly with a nice thick stripe of that color. And then we're gonna fill just about to the halfway mark and we're gonna let that kind of settle into our rock. I am working directly on my stone, so some of this paint is going to absorb into my rock. So I kind of plan ahead for that. If you've got, uh, gotten a white base coat on your rock, uh, it might sit on top and you might be able to go directly to the second step of this filling process. Uh, but I find getting in one solid coat here works great. Now you can decide on your fins however you want to do them. You can have them continue with the colors. Uh, you can have them blended as well. Um, there's lots of different ways you can go about that. I'm going to actually do them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do them opposite. I'll do the tail that repeats the body here, but then I'm going to do them opposite underneath, which means I'm going to pull out a smaller tip to get in here. If I go over my lining a little bit, that's okay because I am going to come back and crisp everything up if that needs it at the end. For now, we're just gonna get in there with our pink on the bottom. And dab a little of this blue back here, like that. And we'll get blue on the top here. Now you can definitely be doing this whole thing, at least all the filling in parts with your acrylic paints as well, just as easily. Um, if anything, if you want, you can just get these liner um, paint pens by themselves, um, if that's part of it that you're kind of interested in. Now there's a few different ways that you can go about blending you two colors together. Um, you can use a paintbrush uh, with just a very, very light bit of water on it. You can blend right on your paint pens as well. So that's kind of what I'm gonna go with today. I'm just gonna go right along this center line now and put down a nice, fresh little line of my pink. And then I'm gonna come right back with a line of my blue next to it. So that we got wet next to wet here. Fill in that space. And now I'm just going to wiggle along this line and that paint's gonna kind of blend right on the tip of my paint pen. So I'm gonna do blue first here right along that line back and forth. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my pink gonna wiggle right along that line, pull a little bit of that blue in to my pink. And see how easily those just kind of fade together there? Now always doodle off the tip of your pens if you're blending right on your rocks. Um, 
That way when you go to use it next time, you don't have a, a funny color coming off the tip. Now I'm gonna let this dry just for a moment here before we go in and add on our body. If you wanna go back with a brush and blend it even more, you can, but when this dries, you'll see it actually blends pretty nicely. So once your fish is dry, we're gonna come back with our um, liner and do the outline. But first, actually, I wanna put in my white part of my eye. We're gonna give him a nice big bulging eye here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and place that on because it might need a couple layers. I might pull a little bit of that pink in. So we wanna make sure that we're giving that time to dry like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and line it. I'll speed some of that up. When I get back to the detail areas, we'll slow it down. Once you get to the front of the fish, we're gonna give him a little mouth here. So we're gonna curl in and give him a smile. And then the bottom lip, we're actually going to create a curve to create that bottom lip. And then you can also add just a few little lines going into your fins, just to give them some direction. And you can do a few here on the tail fin as well, like that. We're letting that white dry. I'm gonna give it a second uh, coat of white so it's nice and bright. It did pull a little bit of that pink in there. And then we'll finish them up. Now, if you have dotting tools, you could definitely do these eyes with dotting tools. It'd probably be easier for me to pull those out. But I've just got my paint pens handy here and I did pull in a little bit of that white, so this will take a couple layers. But go ahead and just add a black dot right on top. We're gonna let that dry. The last touch will be the highlight. So the absolute last touch is our highlight in our eye. Like that. And now he could just be swimming. So I'll share here at the end now. There's three different color combinations of fish, a little bit different body shapes and types. So you can start with this simple tutorial and really create whatever kind of fish you like. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, stay tuned for some uh, suggestions of what you can watch next. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and thanks as always for all the comments and likes uh, all through this time. We'll see you soon, bye-bye.